Yorgos Lanthimos is a Greek auteur director and is well known for both his Greek and English language films. He uses many themes in his films that make them uniquely his, such as deadpan portrayals from characters, unusual conversational topics, and ambiguous endings. These themes are recurring throughout Lanthimos's films and are used to create a very specific sort of comedy. The dark comedy that is present in a Yorgos Lanthimos film cleverly manipulates the audience to question where they draw the moral line in the sand. Lanthimos uses violence as a tool to make you think. It may, at a first glance, seem unnecessary, as it is often very graphic and doesn't seem to have more purpose than to appeal to the audience who enjoys the action and violence in films. However, it does have significance. The initial violence in his films are often used in a comedic light, but as the film goes on, it becomes more impactful and, in a way, guilt trips the audience into thinking more carefully about what is appropriate. Have a look at this scene in Dogtooth. Εύχομαι όταν κάνει παιδιά να πάρουν τα λάθο ερεθίσματα και να δημιουργήσουν το λάθο χαρακτήρα. Πραγματικά σου το εύχομαι. Αυτό α είναι η τιμωρία σου για το κακό που έκανε στην οικογένειά μου. Λέτθομο uses a deadpan line from the father to create a morbidly funny scene. Not only are you affronted by the violence, but you also can't help but find the situation ridiculous. He uses this theme again in the killing of a sacred deer, as seen in this clip. Bob, something terrible happened yesterday. I lost the MP3 player that Martin gave me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've lost two MP3 players in the last 10 days. So I'd like to ask you a favor. Can I have your MP3 player when you're dead? Please, please, please. These scenes directed in any other way would be depressing and not in the slightest bit funny, but Yorgos lets the audience laugh at the overall awkwardness of the situation. Yorgos also uses his comedy to create a sensation of cognitive dissonance and discomfort in the viewer. According to Fisher, discomfort is a feeling that compels us to question our attitudes and push for growth. In terms of a film, it is the feeling that makes some people leave the film while others watch in fascination. The discomfort a Yorgos film provides allows us to think about the situation in terms of a more relatable and realistic scenario. You see the peculiar world in front of you and despite its strangeness, you are able to make a connection with it or to something in your life. A similar kind of discomfort is elicited with his use of ambiguous endings as shown in this clip here. This ending makes you worry for the eldest daughter and forces you to think about what you would do in the same situation. His comedy goes further than violence and deadpan portrayals from characters. Yorgos also uses themes of unusual conversational topics in order to make you question what is and isn't okay to be said, like in this clip well, here. Our daughter started menstruating last week. Great. Yes, she was a little scared, but she's okay now. You haven't seen her in ages. Not since last summer at the school choir. By just making a character have an unusual conversation, it forces the audience to think about what they say to people, and also to consider the effect their words might have. Although the clip I showed isn't offensive in any way, it highlights how an unusual conversation topic may cause you to think twice before speaking. As you can see from the examples given, Yorgos draws the audience in with his dark humour and in turn leaves the audience with feelings of discomfort, ambiguity and shock. <laughs> 